Um, all right, so we implemented um, the upside supports dynamics, harmonics, uh, adjustable echo, and the uh, extend or the adjustable window display and the display. Um, we'll just play a song first that you hear. It's uh, called Be Journey by the Blue Beat by Nelly. So the bottom two are parked on A. Is it actually playing in A or is that just left over from the last note? Yes, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. If it's not Oh, I see. It's just the, the low bass A is not a real note. It's the nothing. Yeah. <laughs>
pushing the limit with that. Yeah, very hard. We were about as well. It was, it was east to right, though. <laughs> and um, so the amplitude of each echo is about half the original amplitude, and that just kind of decays. And Manishka and David took over in the last night. I suggested that it would be fairly easy to change um, the weighting of the echo, the delay. And they took it upon themselves and had a button to adjust. Yeah, so with your big long yeah. shift register that just taps out at various places. Yeah, so you can choose whatever flip flop you want to get the sample from. If you get it at the last sample, you, you're at 15,000 samples. Mm -hmm. You go roughly 300 milliseconds of delay, or any time before that, you can access. Yeah, the adjustment part actually worked out pretty well. It wasn't too difficult. Um, I worked on the dynamics. Display that I can show you really quickly. Um, essentially, it goes into two different, you know, so it's like, start back over again. So it's original, then it's twice as wide, so you're stretching the axial, and it's four times, and then you, yeah, you pop, just like switch on, it just goes through. Um, for me, this is probably the most annoying part since it's. It was just hard trying to um, debug in since I couldn't really see it through the simulation. So that took me a while, but um, it, was, it was interesting and it was sort of uh, a fun added feature. Um, then, oh, and the dynamics uh, essentially is taking in the sample and then depending on the, I guess, the time of the sample to be on the beat, uh, just decaying it and sustaining it for a bit. So we had yeah, that decay and sustaining it for the sample. Yeah, we um, initially we're just shifting to be easy, but it just had dropped in steps. So you could definitely hear it was kind of jagged. Yeah. So we ended up using multipliers, which was kind of a pain to multiply by number by decimal below one. Why was that a pain? Well, just yeah, it's a uh, it wouldn't let us multiply by like 0 0.9, 0 0.8. So it's a uh, multiply by a large number and then shift right by like divide by multiple two. And, but that, that was worth it because it um, lets us do exponential decay. So we started off 0 0.95, 0 0.9, 0 0.85, 0 0.75, 0 0.6, and then gradually down to 0 0.3. And it gave a nice smooth curve. Sounded pretty good. Yeah, with the right number representation, don't think of the numbers starting with the one position at the far right. If you think of the one position at the far left, then it's very natural to multiply by fractions. And the, and the 18 bit multipliers on the vertex to do it. Um, so why don't you think you hear the adjustable echo? Um, what's on the other one? I think we have the animal here. This one was good to know, right? Yeah. Just like complicated stereo. So you said you you were finding a composition editor. How far did you get with that? Um, not very far. Basically, we kept um, we never instantiated the song ROM as a song RAM, so we never we didn't get that far with the composition editor. We had, I had a lot of I did the I can talk about the note reader. So right here, these are just always valid signals out of the note player. Had some trouble getting the um, what was feeding the chord manager and what was feeding the note reader to communicate properly as in uh, like all the signals that we're sending into different states. So, um, so it ended up, it ended, like, this is like what we have instead of like future and past notes because the signals weren't, weren't uh, I guess they just weren't jiving and it was just not worth it at the end. Um, so these are just like whatever is in the current, like there's four note players and whatever is in the current one is, is what's this way. The composition editor, uh, we did we never created like a visual for it. We made a design for it but never put any variable for it. But you show off your just like yeah. yeah.